Knee pain caused by arthritis has two components, mechanical components and chemical components. So it's one disease, but under the surface has two components to the pain you experience. Chemical component is when the cartilage or the cushion between the two bones are used and wear out and thin out. So there is change in orientation of the bones, there's change in pressure, and sometimes the bone directly contact the other bone. So there is change in mechanics causing mechanical pain. This is typically a smaller component of the pain and the bigger component is the chemical pain. Chemical pain is when there is increased blood flow to the joint caused by arthritis. This increased blood flow causes creation and development of these tiny wispy blood vessels that they do not belong. This process causes thickening of the joint lining and release of these chemicals that cause chemical pain and low level inflammation. So each pain has both mechanical components and a chemical component. Most of the time, chemical component is a larger component, could be 80% of the pain, and the mechanical pain could be 20% of the pain. But this varies. In some people is 90%, 10%, in others could be 50%, 50%. The treatment options for mechanical pain you've probably heard of. For example, weight loss, muscle strengthening, physical therapy, ice, brace, joint replacement, gel injections. They all, they all try to address the mechanical pain. If you want to do something about the chemical pain, the treatment is GAE or genicular artery embolization. This is a fairly simple outpatient procedure. It's not the surgery. There's no cutting involved. The concept is very simple. We go to the blood vessels that supply the joint. If there is increased, abnormally increased blood flow to the joint, we send these tiny particles to decrease blood level to a normal level. This breaks the cycle of inflammation and the chemical pain goes away. The procedure is done fairly simply by putting a small catheter in the groin in the artery that supplies the joint, but typically five, six, or sometimes seven blood vessels that supply the joint. We evaluate each vessel. If there is abnormal increased blood flow, we send these tiny particles, blood level comes back to a normal level, and we move on to the next vessel. When we're done, the catheter comes out, and you only have a small band-aid or small dressing in the groin. There's basically no recovery. You go home an hour later, you can do normal activities as you did before. Why? Because it's not a surgery. There's no cutting, there's no dissection. Also, it's not painful. You only need local numbing medications for this. We also give you something in the IV so relaxed and comfortable. That's called moderate sedation or twilight sedation. Most people feel the effect immediately. The chemical pain completely goes away. Uh, for 80% of the people, this benefit is long lasting months to years. For 20% or so, it's only short lasting, a few weeks to a few months. I can't predict who is gonna be long lasting and who's gonna be short lasting. For those who have a shorter benefit, it's typically because their disease is advanced and the mechanical pain has a larger component, so the inflammation comes back fairly quickly. But again, 80% of people have significant relief for months to years. It's important to realize that this takes care of the chemical pain, not the mechanical pain. So this does not help grow cartilage back. Unfortunately, nothing can help you grow the cartilage back. That's gone. The goal of this procedure is to improve the pain or decrease the pain to a level that you can gain your function back. You can walk longer, you can go up and down the stairs, you can do the activities that you abandoned because of the pain. This procedure does not interfere with any of the options, meaning that if you need to have joint replacements, physical therapy, or injections, you can still have it. None of those options go out of the way because you have had this treatment.